Hello, and welcome to... That's terrible. Greetings and salutations. This is Fractured Space. Okay, seriously. Welcome to Fractured Space. My name is Matilius258. This is a review of the USR Brawler. The USR Brawler is a rather ship... Uh, ship? Is a rather cheap ship to buy. It's only worth 5,000 XP and costs you 36 credit thousand credits. It is a main attack craft with a base hull strength of 9,000 and an initial max speed of 550 meters per second. It has a 8 for attack, 5 for defense, and 7 for utility. Now, before I go on to what I do not and do like about this ship, I'm going to go over what you get as a weapon system. The main weapon system of the brawler is the thumper. It's it's more or less a volley of really quick firing shots that do more damage at close range than they do at uh, far range. Think the enforcer weapon system except each volley doesn't require you to hit. You only need to just hit them once. They will all do a set amount of damage. That in it has a base cooldown of one second, so you actually output damage a lot faster. Not as much, but as faster than the Enforcer does. Um, its range is actually quite short. Its practical range is more or less 5,000. You can get away with up to 6,000, I have found. Except at that point, your damage potential for each shot is extremely low. Um, the optimal range of 1,000 to 2,000 is right on the dot. Even closer is even better. The closer you are, the more damage you have for the, to potentially do. So at the closest of range, you have a little over 320 damage potential um, per second per volley. So this means that the Brawler has a wonderful DPM. Um, this I'm going to go over to here first. The more or less secondary weapon system is the Harpoon. The Harpoon travels at 3000 meters per second and will latch onto an enemy ship, at which point they are now able to be harpo Harpoon slope hold which means you can pull their ship to you in order to use your very close range weapon systems. I will also have to note that the Harpoon does 250 damage and on impact as well, something that is not mentioned. However, with the Thumper's main armament, a Thumper, the slow pull, and the Harpoon, the Concuss represents its mm, utility secondary weapon system. Concuss is a sort of shock weapon that disrupts enemy ships. Um, it does shut down utility systems and I do believe it also increases some cooldowns in practice and having been shot by it I'm not sure. However, the Concuss's use is not just its player card. The Concuss is also a very psychological based weapon as well something that is not mentioned and also quite potent. Uh, when you have been concussed, or when the enemy player has been concussed, um, they have this big boom sound to deal with, and at which point, since they're within 4,000 meters of you, they're already kind of freaking out about that. So you have a little bit of a upper hand due to this. Um, they panic, they are panicking more because they're not sure why um, certain utilities and stuff are no longer working, and etc., etc., etc. Therefore, Concuss is actually a very useful weapon. Utility. Whoa, 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 thing. Um, do keep in mind, I do believe it also shuts down active utility systems. I was not the other player, and I have not been able to test this in other kinds of situations. However, due to observation, I 
do believe that is also another aspect of concuss that is not mentioned a la that stupid goddamn shield of the frigate. So, just a small bonus. Um, lastly, the attack... Lastly, on the attack side of the brawler is its drones. They actually do not have just a range of 4,000 meters. They actually have a much longer range. I don't know why it's 4,000. Um, keep in mind that its actual damage output is not 100... Um, points per second, it's more 74 over the course of, I don't know, 5. And the engine, which is an engine. So, that's what the player card of the Brawler says, and does it reflect how it actually plays in-game? Yes and no. It is actually a very high damaging ship, and I quite like that. Um, it can play as, I would say, mainly two strategies. One is kind of a flanking, very selective ship, which will use its harpoon pole to actively select unaware targets or otherwise engage targets, harpoon them, and then pull them towards you, at which point they're isolated and you can have your way with them. Um, the mixture of using concuss, the harpoon pull, the harpoon, and your weapon system, plus some drones just to mess with people, it really does make people panic and they do try to shoot out everything at you. Um, at which point you just slowly whittle away their damage anyway, slowly, quickly whittle away their damage. Um, if there is any flaws to the brawler, it is simply its health. This thing just doesn't have much health. It says 9,000, which isn't too bad, except the way the brawler plays, this is actually a huge problem. First off, you're nearer at close range, so any close range ship will definitely do damage to you. Any long range ship, such as the destroyer or to an extent the flagship, for example, um, while they can't aff do as much effective damage to you, they can still you. The sniper is probably the one ship that absolutely cannot recuperate if it's at close range with the brawler, just simply because it cannot shoot. And you might be thinking, well, you have missiles, but at the same time, they're missiles, you just have to use your flak at the right time, and they're taken straight out. Even at close range, this works, so, yay. Um, other than that, the brawler just simply has to suffer from one, getting close to the target, which is when you take a lot of damage as well. Second, if you kill the target, you're at close range. Their explosive shockwave when they die does a lot of damage to you. You only have 9,000 health, so it's still a lot of damage. And that usually kills you sometimes, because you can't get away fast enough, because you're not actually that fast, but also because the circle to how close you are, you're at the epicenter trying to get out, you're going to have a hard time at this. So you will find that your health depletes quite quickly in the brawler, which is why you kind of need help. So a ship that heals, such as the Corvette, such as the Disruptor, yes, if you have one of those ships to help you, oh the new venture does it too, right? Yeah, the v or the venture. If you have one of those ships trying to keep you alive and working with you, then you become a very dangerous target. One, you keep health, so damage being done to you doesn't work. Second, your damage potential and damage per minute is so high that anything trying to kill you while being while you're being healed is going to have a very hard time and will probably just die anyways. Um, in the video I show you, I am very conveniently healed by a random corvette, which I much appreciated. And in a very, in a very fun battle towards one of the enemy points where they kept spawning, um, I last several times longer than I would have if I was alone, only because this thing just doesn't have the tank to keep being damaged. You can damage ships, but you'll probably lose your ship, which is why if you don't have help and you're not playing extremely cautiously, 
the brawler is not that actual effective when it comes to kills to deaths. The kill death ratio, I would say, would be more or less. And I'm not talking takedowns, I mean like you personally killing stuff. I would say it would be more along the lines of one to one, depending on the ship you're shooting. So that's always a bad thing. And if it's two versus one, and you kill one of them, and you start whittling down the second ship, the second ship will just eventually kill you because you just don't have the health to compensate for the damage he might be putting out. Um, so that's what I find a problem with the Brawler. However, I still think it's a really good ship, which is weird because I don't see it at all. This thing um, used to be the overpowered broken ship back in the day. Uh, a few patches back, it got severely nerfed, and its damage potential went way down. Um, I'll show you... Oops, wrong one. I'll show you here. The Thumper. Pre-patch, its damage used to be 56, not 44. And 8 times 5, 60, you were almost doing 600, 700 damage of volley. This just devastated whatever got near this thing and if a brawler was looking at you and said you know what you're going to die they could harpoon you and slow pull you and you could not get away you could try jumping oh well he just pulls you and you just die faster um, so it was always a very broken ship and everybody played a brawler um, at the time I didn't have a brawler before it got patched I actually got my brawler as it was patched, which was a shame. So, it became the nuisance of the battlefield and then was quickly just erased from existence. It was kind of weird. So now you don't see these things very often. However, I recall a few patches back that they actually gave it just a bit of a buff. They nerfed it too much, making it absolutely useless. So the damage is now set at a 44, which I actually think is pretty well balanced, all things considered, for game mechanics. I mean, you playing, you don't want to play a balanced ship, you want to play an overpowered ship, but game-wise, it's a very balanced ship. It does a lot of damage, its DPM is amazing, if this thing has help, it's deadly, um, but if it doesn't have help, it's going to die soon. Its kill-death ratio is only about one, so it can't really do that much damage in one life. And the harpoon slow pull combination actually has a stupendous reload. You can't shoot that harpoon off constantly. Also, that harpoon can be easily destroyed, either with some kind of onboard purge system ship kind of thing. Uh, the shield from the frigate will also stop it. Um, flak doesn't seem to do it, but the flagship's flak ability does. Which is a shame. So, all these little kind of factors are quite important when you think about it. They also make it quite important for when you play. You need to know when you should use your harpoon. You need to know when you should use your slow pull. You need to know when you need to same cuss. Um, so yeah, ever since the patch I have seen a grand total of I think one or two brawlers in all this time. They just do not appear very much and it's a shame because it's actually a wonderful ship and you can still have some very very good games in the ship. So. I find it's underappreciated. It has flaws, yeah, but every ship has flaws. So, that's what I think about the ship. That's what I think the ship can do, what's wrong with the ship. So, I'm going to show you a video now of some gameplay within the uh, brawler. Alright then. <clears throat> Alright then. So, 
brought up a battle of me and the brawler, and we're going to go see what it can and cannot do, and look at all the theory that is presented with the player car, and put it into practice. So, first, you know, what I usually do, you or what everybody else does, you jump to a place and you instantly go for the first gas station. Um, this is the player card, in case anybody's interested. It does change later on, so just keep that in mind. So, it's about this point that somebody on our team has noticed that we did not split very well. Apparently there are four people on this one side, as you can see. So, that was great. So, game's already beginning off like, ooh, yay, we know what we're doing or something. But, yeah. C'est la vie. Um, so, this is where I mentioned that I'm going to go over to A and support him there, and I leave. So, I arrived in A, and have my fighters with me. I always like to keep them out, just because they're more useful, ready to go whenever I need them, than just sitting in my drone bay. Personal preference. Um, right, so, um, my friend's in the center, so I s just start heading over there. I get low, so I don't have to deal with anybody shooting me from the gas station. Um, for a second, I thought the flagship was a destroyer, despite there not being any destroyers in this game. So, I was rather disturbed about that, but other than that, worked out fine. So, I close within 15,000 uh, meters usually, and at which point I launch my harpoon. It launches, it catches, and you use the slow pull. Pull it towards you. 4,000, you hit the concuss, and voila, you're done. And now you just have to whittle them away. So just watch as his damage just slowly goes down, okay, slowly, quickly goes down. I don't get the kill, but this also demonstrates one of the problems. You're a close range ship, and you always have to deal with that, the shockwave of their death. So I've already lost out of my 9,000, almost 10,000 health due to the few upgrades that we already have. I'm already down to 6,000, what does it say, 800? 6,800. I've already lost a lot of health, and that was from one ship. So keep that within perspective of say maybe there's two ships and you do have some help um, but they're targeting you. You kill the one ship but the second ship kills you because you lost well as you can see about 4,000 damage from the first ship and then whatever the damage potential of the next ship that was shooting you you probably have no health left unless they were completely ignoring you and shooting your friend so just a small flaw but you can still see that it does do a lot of damage. And the, the slow pull is actually not very slow. It's actually quick. Of course it helps when you're going towards the player, but hey. Um, so, right after this, um, somebody is about to post a message. Anytime now. There it is. Defend A2, which is what I have stayed to do. I'm waiting for my health to heal. I'm going to let in the first attack, and we're going to tank them. Which point, the Leviathan of the game appears, and I'm just going, oh, crap. So I start engaging the Leviathan, because it has the most health. It does the most damage at the, to at the moment. And I also didn't happen to notice the big, really, s okay, the big, the small enforcer to my right beneath me. Um... So I kill him, and the enforcer then proceeds to kill me. Lovely. Um, so yeah, that's another thing I want to mention. Despite you being a close-range ship, other close-range ships, such as the enforcer, will give you a really bad time. They will take out a giant proportion of your health really quickly. And you can't do anything, because at the same time, you're both close-range ships. You're going to be trying to punch each other to death and that's kind of a problem because what happens if you need to oh I don't know um, kill him first well he's going to take a bunch of your health with you with him so that's great and then he'll explode so maybe you'll get killed by his explosion too oh joy um, okay back to the game um, so a2 is lost 
but we somehow managed to get into their base. Um, so that caused a little bit of disruption for the enemy, causing them to go every which way. Um, some two teammates up at the top are moving towards their point at B2, and I have stopped to change my shortcuts for the zoom function. Um, I moved it to O. Oh. My usual zoom function, I'm not sure if it's default anymore, I don't know. My usual default, my usual zoom function is the middle mouse button, so whenever I hit F by accident, I sometimes hit my G and it keeps zooming me in. In the brawler, zooming is not actually the best thing to do because you're at close range, zooming is really hard to compensate for. But anyway, here's another example of using the harpoon to just kind of pick off stuff. In this case of a ranger. So I've harpooned him, he starts coming towards me, start laying some fire, I start realizing I'm being shot by a sniper, and I start going to the right. And that was the ranger. So, I want to bring your attention to this because it's rather important. At this moment, we have a corvette, a ranger that's fixing, and me. We have a Corvette. And that is the Leviathan. Oh, and the sniper. Forgot about the sniper. So, this next part, I'm going to explain to you why it's good to have somebody to help you out with your health, such as that lovely little Corvette over there. Watch my health as I slowly get damaged throughout this. Oh, this idiot. Don't try to jump. Ugh. Such a shame. Anyway. See, this is where having a friend helps. If I didn't have a friend, the Leviathan would have done enough damage for the... the uh, I'll destroy it. The sniper to eventually just finish me off. Here, too, having a little Corvette to help me, I'm taking the damage from the flagship. He's concentrating on me instead, and not my friend. So that's always good. I should be the one taking damage in this case, and he should be repairing my damage. Like that. So I'll bring him to me, and then just have my way. I've also noticed that I'm being shot by a Leviathan, too. There's more than one ship here. And I'm still being healed. And there's an enforcer who is engaging my Corvette, so I need to kill him. However, I have no idea why he stopped. So my Corvette's almost dead. Um, I have a feeling he's about to switch over to my Corvette. There he goes. So my Corvette's down, and I have no health to heal myself. And this is a big problem with the Brawler. Before, you can tank a lot of damage. As you could see, it... I did do a lot of damage, and I took a lot of damage. Something that the Brawler shouldn't be able to do, because you don't have the best defense. With a Corvette, for example, you can. You have a lot of health to be able to sustain this. Of course, once you're alone, you just die. Because... If it's a big ship, like the Leviathan, you just won't be able to do enough damage in enough time. Just because they have so much health. Um, it also helps when there's an enforcer, but, you know, <laughs> all that jazz. So that's a perfect example of when you have health, and an example of when you do not have health. You need something to tank for you, because you can't. So, yeah. So, I've jumped the video over to a point with a flagship engagement just to further demonstrate the harpoon launch with the slow pull with, I can't remember if I used the concuss. So first, I use my drones. They annoy and just disorient it, the player a little bit. You use the slow pull, you bring it towards you, at which point just use your thumper and have fun. 
I don't use my concuss here because the concuss does have a minute reload. I actually managed to get slightly away from his best wave that time. Um, the concuss actually takes a minute to reload. It's a painfully long reload. So it's always good to know when and when not to use some of these weapons. The launch harpoon has even a 30 second uh, window and that even takes a little bit of extra time. So, we're back here at B2 again, and we're more or less repeating what we did the first time. And it's me and the Leviathan. No oh joy. So, I guess I'm just going to use this opportunity to show just the damage potential. Already, it's been a few seconds, and I'm already at 10,000 damage. And I have health, which is lovely. So, the Leviathan just dies. Yay. Um... So yeah, this poor ranger, I'm just going to say this now, he just had some stroke of bad luck with all this. He spawns next to a brawler, and he reverses into an asteroid. It's, it's just one of those moments, if you're one of those players, where you're just going, oh, why, no, damn it. But I will, thank you, Miss enforcer um i will have to mention that the rangers mines and the brawler are also a deadly combination they are actually surprisingly evil um since the mines can be shot out as it's dying and they then track on you because you're at close range they're more or less like a series of exploding ships next to you it's just terrible so mines are also quite a big problem for the brawler because you have to get close to the ship that's deploying them, which activates the mines. It's oh, um. So in this little situation, the Leviathan's returned with his little corvette, and there's a big problem. One, nobody took out the corvette because it just spawned. Second, I don't have any allies. Uh, third, the corvette's um repairing the Leviathan. And somehow my harpoon managed to hit the corvette instead of the frickin' leviathan, which I found really, really weird as really, really annoying. Um, in this little engagement right here, I just did a lot wrong. I could have done a lot more damage if I had the ability. Um, just a whole host of things led to my death right there. One, I didn't have any support. Two, they targeted the re corvette like smart people instead of me. And third... I got in front of a leviathan. You don't want to get in front of a leviathan. I keep doing that because circling your opponent is a good way to mess with people. So having a corvette is actually a good thing. It really does help you. It prolongs your life. It's something you need to have. A disruptor would be a good close second. And then... The Venture, I guess. I don't know. I haven't used it. I'm not sure what um, healing potential is, so I'm not going to recommend that. But that's why the Brawler needs help. So, this is the end of the video. After this, we just win and nothing much happens. So, that was some gameplay about the Brawler. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, as a quick treat, this is what the Tarist skin looks like. Orange, blue, and strangely toaster like. <laughs> um, if anything, I would recommend getting the Brawler. It's a great ship. It's got some damage potential that definitely needs to be considered. And as a ship that you can play with a friend, I find having a complimentary friend playing as a, a Disruptor or a Corvette. Of course, nobody's going to want to play with Corvette. Um, it would become a very, very deadly duo on the battlefield. So keep that in mind. Try it out. It's not very hard to get. It's very fun to play. And watching as enemy ships panic as you slowly pull them towards you. Okay, quickly. It actually pulls pretty quickly. And then concuss with a big vroom, 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 vroom is a lovely and delectable evil of the ship. Anywho, 
I hope to shoot you soon, and see you next time.